Hello, YouTube. This? Well, this is a flashlight from Harbor Freight. But this is a vintage Royal Model 608 commercial vacuum cleaner. And we're going to take a look at it. Get a bag in it. Well, yeah, it's got a bag on it, but it needs a bag in it as well. And we're going to try it out. So let's get started. Okay. So, as I said, this is an old commercial vacuum. Not sure of the year of it, but we're going to take a look at this. Um, the number plate on it, well, number sticker on it, so it can't be all that old. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this vacuum, I kind of acquired it years ago. This was a vacuum that was actually from my church, and can't quite remember why they got rid of it. Somehow I ended up with it. <laughs> I don't remember the whole story behind it, but they got a new vac, a new Royal commercial vacuum, the 16 inch wide model. The newer one did not have the light. Like I said, it was the wide path model but somehow I ended up with this one originally it had the royal commercial it had commercial running down the center here shake out bag to it my father had taken this one so, like I said somehow I ended up with this one <laughs> and my father took it Took it down to our local vac shop, had it, well, I was going to say he had it reconditioned, but he didn't. He just had it kind of looked over, and that was when the new um, retrofit bag was installed. I think that's all they did with it, to be honest, because... This cord was the same cord that was on it, from what I remember, because it had this goofy, like, hospital-style plug on it. Um, it's not a hospital plug, but it's, uh, you know, anyway. But I think the only thing that was done with it, other than the bag being replaced, I believe... A new brush roll was put on it, and this, which is the belt lifter. So, in my opinion, this machine is the illegitimate child of a Healthmore and a Kirby. <laughs> So you've seen the couple videos I've had on the old health mores. I also have a few videos on my antique Kirby 514. The light assembly is similar to the Kirby. It's just kind of a tin that's screwed on. The height adjustment is very similar to the Healthmore, as are the, the wheel assembly and the handle assembly. If we take a closer look at the housing, now this is a fixed nozzle on here, floor nozzle. If you look, there's a couple tabs sticking out here that are very reminiscent 
of the attachment pegs or where the brush nozzle would attach on a Kirby. If we look here under where the light is, this boss here would kind of be where the thumb latch would be on a Kirby. This is the adjust right, which I'm assuming they're referring to the height adjustment because, well, you, it's infinite. It's not like a uh, Kirby where it's uh, stepped notches. It it can be dialed in exactly where you want it. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty nasty. But anyway, this, my father had this thing done, looked over by the vac shop. They installed the new bag and it was used at our church's rec center until my father, he was kind of the janitor maintenance guy for the church and the rec center at the point where he stopped doing the rec center and only was doing the church he brought the vacuum home it sat in our garage for quite some time and I then took it I took it home made sure it was still working and then I took it into where I used to work because our floor people that we <laughs> that we had sucked and they didn't even vacuum the rugs in the department so I brought it in for my department and we would vacuum the rug in front of our coffee bar and donut case every morning it's pretty filthy as are most commercial vacs that are used regularly. If you pardon that, we're going to try to get it set up and give it a test run here. The belt that is on it is fairly new. I replaced that myself last year, I think. The brush roll is still in fairly good shape. It's a very stiff bristle brush roll. Like I said, it's a commercial vac. So it, let me pop the bottom off here. You can try to take a better look at it. Where's that little flashlight at? As is the case with most of the Royals, I'm not sure about other Vacs, but, okay, well, the belt's not in great shape, but it should work. But this is actually a wooden brush roll, and it has the kind of adjustable so the end caps are adjustable. When the brush roll starts to roll de or wear down, you just turn it. It's an offset square peg. They're numbered one through four. You can adjust it to get more life out of the brush roll. <laughs> We're going to give it something to suck back up, that's for sure. And one other thing with the Royal is... I mean, you can put the, the handle all the way up and it'll stay up as long as the bag's not too full. But it has this little lever here.
here. It's spring loaded and it normally goes down to right there. If you pull it up, it'll release the handle to go all the way down so you can get under whatever and it automatically snaps back up like that and to as kind of a resting position it is not spring loaded in this position but if you push down on it you can you can lock it in so that the handle stays at that angle we need to put a bag in it as I said this originally had a shakeout bag however the replacement is kind of a retrofit and that's what we've got right here and it takes a type A bag so what we have to do is fit the tube of the bag over this plastic fitting here actually what we need to do is kind of vacuum all the crap out of there Put our bag on and you want to put this is the bot obviously that's the bottom of the bag it says on the bag this side out so this is the bag this is the um, back basically of the bag the tube goes up the front so we'll put that on there and kind of crimp it down and then there's this spring kind of like the old Hoover's had Okay, you just kind of roll it over like that and that's what holds the bag in place doesn't seem like much does it and that's probably why there was so much dirt and crap at the bottom of the bag anyway so we kind of just tuck our filter bag into there that and you could probably also use the old Hoover bottom fill bags on this as well I don't know how it would work how well it would work but it's basically the same concept so and that's it for putting the bag in got to put a bulb in it it hasn't had one for years and it just takes the standard sewing machine vacuum bulb just a bi pin usually 15 watt bulb okay I picked up a few of these off of Amazon and it's an LED bulb supposed to be what is it four watt we'll put this in here and see how it works I forget how much these were it was like 15 bucks for four of them I think so it just pushes in like that and that's it so let's make sure our belt is on there all right I believe attachments were available for these as well kind of that just would snap into the front like the attachments on the 
like Dark Devil hand vac and things like that do. <laughs> So there we go. Vintage Royal 608 Commercial Upright Vacuum. Almost forgot said we were going to look at the number plate on it, or sticker. <laughs> it's better without the light. There we go. Model 608. Serial number a82 E44606 4.5 amp 120 volt manufactured by the Royal Appliance Manufacturing Company Highland Heights Ohio thanks for watching